It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. Delighted to have with me Daily Mail's very own Jeff Powell. Jeff, great to see you. Firstly, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, yes. Um, Jeff, we know why we're here. It's a, it's a huge event. First of June in, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. A lot of people would say having Baturbiev and Bivol as a main event, the undercard could be absolutely anything. But the undercard is stacked with Zhang, Wilder, Dubois, Hergovic, Amo Williams, Hamza Shiraz, and many more. Just your first thoughts on, on the event as a whole, Matchroom versus Queensbury. Well, it's, um, it's a fun idea to have uh, Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn's teams go up against each other, a bit like a Davis Cup or something, so that's quite fun. And, uh, and Turkey Al Sheikh is, is quite clever in what he expects from his promoters. Um, that, that does an undercard before he even has to think about it, so it's very good. Um, but of course, in the end, I, 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 the Dubois fight is huge for him, should he win the doors to another go for the world title opens up. Uh, but having said that, this is a classic at, at uh, light heavyweight, um, in the line of some great classics in the past in, in, in the heavyweight division. This is, um, this is probably the biggest fight out there at the moment, uh, with the exception of Fury Usyk. Um, that is being launched in London, as opposed uh, to Saudi Arabia tells you everything about the way uh, boxing's landscape has changed and that you should be doing one of one of the great light heavyweight fights and you uh, you kick it off with the public in London and it's going to take place in Riyadh uh, but it, it it gives to this fight the value it deserves a lot of not central stream boxing supporters might have gone oh well, that looks like a good fight or not even realize how good it is but this is, a, this is the classic of the division at the moment. Two unbeaten fighters, one of whom knocks everybody out, one of whom is extremely skillful. Um, and it's great uh, that it'll take place anywhere. It's taken Saudi money to get it quickly over the line, and they're getting it in the time they should because Atebiev's not getting any younger. So he's, I think, still just in his prime because even at 38, 39, he looks after himself amazingly. He follows the Islamic style of life uh, with his eating, no drinking and everything. So he's a very, very fit 39 year old and um, they're catching him probably just before he might dip over the top. So I'm really pleased it's happening that it has to go to Saudi Arabia. Well, we might have liked to see it at Wembley, but then would a big crowd have turned out in Wembley? They couldn't do it in Russia at the moment. And uh, you begin to wonder whether USA is still the mecca, mecca of boxing. There's been some very poor turnouts for quite big fights there. So they're getting what they deserve as two fantastic fighters and the public are going to see a fight which they, most of the regular supporters will be pleased to see and deserve to see and which might just excite the interest of, of an additional audience, which would be fine. I mean, you alluded to it at the beginning there about Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren coming together. Never, no one ever thought that will happen in a way that it has happened. Uh, just your thoughts on kind of the relationship and, and both brands working together for the betterment of boxing. Talks. <laughs> and that's, that's what's done it. But it's for the good of the game that it's happened. Uh, a lot of some of the best fights were not being made because the two rivals, not just these two, various promoters, couldn't get their act together. It's, it's happening in the States where Hearn is struggling to get people like Oscar de la Hoya to uh, involve his, their fighters with his. So if this has taken down a barrier to some great fights, I'm all for it. I'm glad they've, they've both got, uh, been drawn into it. I think they've acquired a, a bit more of a humorous relationship as a result of it. Um, we'd like the, uh, the real conflict to be in the ring not, not in the uh, banking hall. Um, Deontay Wilder, last time out, a lot of criticism about his performance. You know, a lot of people said he, he's not what he used to be. Um, maybe he's coming towards the end of his career. He gets another opportunity against Zhang, obviously coming off a loss to Parker as well. Just your assessment of Deontay Wilder and, and you know, where are you with, with his career to date now? Well, I, I don't subscribe that he's just a one-trick pony. 
uh, his re and that he never fought anybody of consequence. I mean, he knocked out everybody they put in front of him, including some very good fighters. Um, but he is dangerous. He proved that against Fury, who, who got up repeatedly against him, which most people don't. Um, maybe he got a bit of extra time here and there to do it, but he did it with courage. But it took a very brave man to get up from being hit by properly by Deontay Wilder. The power is all the, the last thing to go with any fighter. I suspect the power is still there. But uh, he, to be quite frank, he was away with the fairies in that fight. It, was, it just wasn't the Deontay Wilder we knew. And it could very well be that, um, that he'd been off in the, 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 uh, the wilds of Costa Rica, uh, finding true karma, um, in, enhancing his thoughts with some, if not illegal in USA, um, almost aphrodisiac substances. Um, and uh, he even admitted himself afterwards, well, I, I felt so much love in my life at last that I, I couldn't really be uh, angry and bitter in the fight. I'll buy half of that excuse. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, there was an element of complacency about him too. Uh, it was unfortunate. He'll be better in this fight, but he's going to have to fight a guy who hits very hard. But he also has proven that he's got a bit of a chin. I mean, it, how many massive blows did it take from Tyson Fury to finish him off? And still he was on his, on his feet when, he, when it was stopped. I'd like to see the old Deontay Wilder back. Um, if it is, that throws another wonderful element into the heavyweight picture. So you'd have him as well as Joshua, as well as Usyk, as well as Fury. Um, maybe the winner of Dubar, Dubois and Hergovic. Um, it's an exciting time for heavyweight boxing. And we have to be big enough to put our hand in our heart and say thank you to His Excellency Turkey Ali Al Sheikh for making this possible because these fights were not getting made with everybody asking for too much money. Um, and in some cases that was an excuse. And that excuse has been taken away and these guys are now fighting each other and it's making for great spectacles for the boxing public. Obviously Andy Joshua stated that he wanted to fight back in the summer. Are you surprised that he wasn't the one that put himself forward, I'm sure he has, but for, for Hergovic and his, it is Dubois and said because that Dubois Hergovic could, could end up being for the IBF title? I don't think that was his choice. I think they're trying to build up. Uh, if, he may, if, he does it, if he does it, they're trying to build up to Dubois against Joshua, as I understand it, at Wembley, uh, which would be a fight which could be taken out of uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, be a big hit in this country. Um, you know, if Dubois can prove he's recovered from his episode uh, with Usyk, uh, in which he is one of the uh, people who thinks he was very unlucky, then um, then that's 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 a bonanza fight, home fight, UK fight for the British public. Just final one. Um, I just spoke to Maurice Sullivan. There was a lot of talk before about the WBC introducing five judges for the Fury Usyk fight, yeah. and I said, what is the latest on that, he said it, there was a lot of uh, individuals resenting against that idea and it's not going to happen. Um, are, are you happy with that as well? I've seen large judging panels at amateur boxing shows, including the Olympics, come up with even worse results than we've had with three judges. Um, you, want the, you want the pick of the crop judging fights. If sometimes one of them gets something wrong or two of them then get something wrong and you object to the result, um, then that's unfortunate. I think the amateur, the amateur boxing system with too many judges, um, certainly in the case of Olympics, which they're trying to get away from, pressure on judges, especially to favour home fighters, uh, was much greater. So I'll, rock, I'll change that even greater than it is for the professional judges. We need the, the best judges of fights. I know Mauricio is trying to uh, uh, sharpen the pool of the best judges and is taking people who's, who come up with um, uh, unfortunate scorecards to task and removing them from panels. I think he's doing his best. I think it was a risky road to go down to have five or six judges. Um, it would have had terrible uh, teething troubles and I wouldn't want teething troubles on the, on the, first fi the fight to find the first uh, undisputed world heavyweight championship, Lennox Lewis. That has to be under conditions which everybody knows and understands and in which the fewer about judging will hopefully keep um, the cards honest.
Japal, thank you so much for your time and your insights. Uh, let's look forward to a great press conference, which is due to start any minute now. And yeah, I'm sure we'll catch up with you very soon. Uh, my pleasure, always. Thank you, Jeff. Win gold now. IPMB is giving away 524 karat gold coins to our token holders worth over $2,000 each. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you very much for this uh, great news. It's amazing. It's never been easier to own gold, so join the raffle now. I've got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.